of the guy up inside. So here's Brian Burns working against Andrew Thomas. He's going to force Daniel Jones up. So they move him to the other side against Filer, and this is what you're used to seeing. Oh, my gosh, the sudden movement. And watch him almost fall into the quarterback. He gets so low. He is just right down at the clip. The edge, set the edge on the runner, make Derrick Henry have to stop his feet. I have no idea why that's not all. <laughs> you see Gay just to the left of Jones. We've said he's had a quiet night. Well, he gets off the ball so suddenly, he just overpowers. He's trying to be one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't even feel like anyone's there. And this time he goes up and under. Now he just goes right around. And Man coverage on the back end allows them to rush five, which creates one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And everybody is talking about that young man right there. This is the communication. Look at those two linemen. 73 right there, Smith. He, he's not working with Farniak, the left guard. And the two just highlighted both of them on the same side. The problem it creates is the speed. The speed is the issue for this watch. Watch how fast. Go up and then boom, right underneath. And this is where he gets so many of his sacks. He goes up and under. And he has one of the fastest, like, blitz and go back. But on this one, Reader pushes the pocket so you can't throw on. The other guy on the defensive front, Charles Harris, they just signed him a new deal. Dan Campbell said he has bought into our culture. Oh, you're going to see the getting the ball to the outside. He's got to hold that edge. Hold that edge. You cannot allow the speed of Hardman to get outside. Boy, he is so strong. The game, but right here, he's just too good. The chip actually helps get him inside. And try and make a play, that's fine. But you better darn sure make it. And when you're as athletic as that, how fast Crosby gets off the ball, he is shot right out of a cannon, and they just have no chance. I mean, over there. Yeah, Nick Bosa coming off the edge right here. And I'm telling you what, you want to talk about a body. This guy, uh, this guy could be a superhero, right? He, like, you put him in a costume. I mean, you talk about. Great job by Preston Smith. Really, the pressure came from the other side, and then he was able to run the full circle and run down Justin Field. Look at him. This is some serious hustle. They gave him a little bit of a break at the beginning of this drive. And they told me he was never going to be single block right here. He doesn't get blocked at all. It just comes through free. I, I don't know how you can allow that to happen if you're the New York Jets. He's going to come back in here as they run this game. See him inside there, but that is coverage right there. When you have that kind of coverage on the back end, back end of that deep. At the snap, he just missed it totally. It's like he thought it was on two and it was on one. Just couldn't get out of his stance and get a hand on Randy Gregory. And the Eagles are going to walk out of their home opener 2-0 on the season. Work hard to reach to get to the outside. That time you're going to see Blackson just jump right around Josh Myers in the back door and make the play. I mean, you're going to see here Jack Barrett. When you look at the numbers, I think he's a little unheralded. Yeah, and there's Brian Burns right here going against Evan Neal, that young rookie. He's going to be a heck of a player, but when you go against Brian Burns, you've got speed of a play action stuff. And Nick Bosa right up here on the top of your screen. The back comes in there to take him, and that's just not, I mean, he just doesn't even touch him. That they run a game inside. They run twists on both sides. Fletcher Cox, and they got Brandon Graham on the inside. Cox is the one who gets a hold of him. And He's saying, we didn't sub. We didn't sub. They're trying to catch New Orleans in a personnel grouping. That's it. I don't think so. And now they've got the big negative play. As Patrick Jones comes flat down the line, there's no contain. And it was a straight handoff. There was no read on that. You're going to see he's just going to beat the block of Nate Davis. Run right around it. Well, they have the back to his side to maybe help give a little bit of a chip, but but he doesn't give it. And so Milato's one-on-one all by himself. And once is the effect that great crowd noise has, that ball gets snapped. Everybody along that offensive line is just a hair late in getting their movements. And you're a hair late at this level. You're going to get beat in that power rush on the outside by Chubb. You see the pocket closing down. You're going to see Greg Rousseau. He moves inside to a three technique spot. And he's rushing over Aaron Brewer. He's only about 270 pounds. One of the lightest offensive linemen in the NFL. And he just takes. Lawrence reads it quickly. Gets underneath. 
67 Volson coming across, and all of a sudden, unbelievable job by Tart of just getting into Roger Saffold, who we talked about early on as being one of the guys who's the physical plays run before this series for the half. Wow. So Dallas has barely been out here. Sometimes you can fool the defense, but sometimes the defense gets you. You got two guys who are blocking down. Six-yard field goal before the sack. We now it's 64. About, we talked about Russell Wilson and his feet moving them around. Trouble in the pocket. Once that quarterback starts to get those, I hate to call them happy feet. Get some penetration in the backfield. Right there, look at big Al Woods in the backfield. That's a big man moving that beef. Behind the line of scrimmage, reestablished. And this is a lot of two variations. You see the spin move by Fowler. And at the end of this, it's a great job by Mixon to get that ball back. Really does help a defensive line. You don't have to beat somebody right off the bat right away. You just have to continue to work. They're going to do the same, trying to block with a tight end. And Armstrong says, sorry, Sample, you're a tight end. I usually go again. J.J. Watt is going to come right up inside. Didn't play last week, and right away. They, they didn't hide it. Tranquil's right up at the line of scrimmage. You can see Trey Smith, the, the right guard, actually steps down. Marquan McCall just driving him back right into the backfield. The absolute last thing that they wanted for the Browns. Yeah, watch Carl Lawson. He's healthy now, coming off the edge. Just straight bull rushing through. Getting help from his teammates, getting up. Get the 22 for a loss of five. Yeah, Payne going against the backup, Logan Stenberg. It, it, that was just a horrible first step by Stenberg. The wrong big part there is if you can get, he's coming from the top, 53 working against um, Ikem Ekwanu. You, you know, kind of working their hands so they don't get cut off on the back side. Watch as they go down the line of scrimmage. They got their hands. They're keeping on their feet. You know, you, you can't be on the ground. Your rookie, oh, he's over the top of me. I know I got somebody outside, but I'm thinking about it, and you're slow off the ball, and Clowney's too good. He'll get around the corner and make that. Aiden Hutchinson right here on the near side. As he goes up, he's going to go around the quarterback. You usually don't want to go too high over the quarterback, but what he does a great job of is circling back. And watch the two of them there, and then Julian Tavaye. Number 48, a linebacker, but he got challenged by Mike Caldwell, his defensive coordinator, to think bigger. Really good at rushing the quarterback. He starts to fall into these D-line games, D-line stunts, and you see him just wrap right around.